trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, take a look at this DAX chart, folks. We've got a beautiful expanding triangle there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, reverse point wave, A, B, C, D, three drive to a top, bada bing, bada boom, everything's working. So uh, pay attention to that one. That looks really, really interesting from the short side. If we take a look here, at the German, uh, let's not, we've already done that. Let's take a look at the uh, UK, the FTSE. You'll see it has a beautiful ABCD pattern up here. So we've got that lined up pretty good. So that's interesting. But boy, folks, there is one out here that is yelling, please sell me, please sell me, please sell me. And I will bring it to your attention in just one moment. As soon as I find it, and I know it's here somewhere, and here it is. Let's take a look at it. We just this is a, this was posted about an hour ago, but we just hit the number just a second ago. We'll get this up here. This is the uh, daily platinum chart, folks. You'll notice we got a double A B C D. We have a butterfly pattern. We also have a three drive pattern here. If you go back to uh, July of last year, uh, you'll be able to see that. I'll, po I'll post the weekly here in just a moment. But this got everything in it. I haven't traded platinum in a long time. It went up, hit the uh, hit the number. The number was, uh, I believe, 8.98, and the high was 8.97.40. So that uh, didn't didn't hit it. So I guess it's not going to work. But anyway, keep an eye on that. That looks really interesting in the platinum, folks. It, it's $50 a point, I believe, and uh, it is a uh, used to sell at a four. Uh, it's selling at a $400 uh, discount to gold now. It used to sell at a $1,000 premium to gold. So it's uh, it's very very interesting. Interesting. If we look here uh, at the uh, price of the, hold on one second here, of the platinum on a weekly basis, you'll see that we are hitting a 50% retracement of the high from January of 2018. And it's doing this right in the face of the gold market, uh, you know, heading down. Uh, possibly to that level that we're looking at, which is we're only uh, $25 away now. Uh, that number is 1264 in the gold. That's the one that uh, we're watching uh, very, very closely because it could get there without too much trouble. Now, today we have a real special treat because of the Christmas holidays, and that is Mr. Norman calls it to the minute. Winsky will be on at the half hour break to uh, relieve the old cowboy and give us some great information like he usually does. Now, I did want to mention one other thing. Yesterday, I posted uh, what I thought was going to happen using the artificial intelligence program, the AI, the neural network that I've used. And you'll, you'll see here, uh, this was the forecast. It, went, it came within about uh, two minutes of the, of the high. Uh, within about four minutes of the low, a pretty nice little move. The bad part about that is, folks, this is the end because that son of a gun yesterday at 12, uh, no, uh, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, I happened to look over, and there was my little computer smoking. It was actually burning up. I mean, I, I don't know what it was, but something was really bad. The computer guy's coming over, but it's a dead duck. It's uh it hasn't got any more power. It's been running pretty good for six years, and it's a very, very expensive computer, so I don't know if it's going to be able to be fixed or not, but I'm not going to worry about it because things are good. We'll have to take a look at that a little bit later, so keep in mind. One other thing that we've got going on here is, if you'll remember, we were looking at coffee the other day. And, you know, what too, no, no, not too much trading. It doesn't do any trading at all, Marshall. It just crunches the numbers. <laughs> okay, here is the, uh, here's the coffee. We went down to that three drive to a bottom pattern. We've had a pretty good move. It's, it's jumped about a nickel off the bottom. Wait, no, only four cents off the bottom. We're trading at 95.30 or something like that today, near that high of yesterday. But if you did that, make sure, and if you did that, make sure that you put your stop at least at the the uh, the uh, break-even point, uh, that's uh, 
you know, that's what I would do if I were I were doing that in the coffee for sure. I don't think there would be anything else you could do because you're at, if we're at a major bottom, this thing could really take off. And if not, then you're at a risk-free situation. So that's the main thing. We have another one here that is uh, this is going to be really interesting with today and tomorrow. And tomorrow we've got the, uh, I think it's an unemployment report. Is that what it is? I know it's a big report, and that'll be enough to move some of these markets really dramatically. And if you look at the uh, look at the euro, folks, uh, where it is, uh, we we could easily uh, break down because all we were able to do was to rally. You know, we came down 80 pips, we went up 80 pips. We did a harmonic number on the downside and a harmonic number on the upside, and now we're trading uh, pretty much right there again at 12.17. So hasn't really done very much, but it looks like it's possibly ready to, uh, you know, to break down. Whether that's going to happen or not, you know, uh, I'm not sure. I had a question from one of our uh, listeners, and that was about the uh, the gold market that we we talked about uh, on Tuesday just a couple of days ago. There was a small uh, ABCD here on the 15-minute chart, and the question was, you know, how do I know which time frame to trade? Well, you've got to select the one that you want. I mean, I just happened to show this because Mr. Z was buying it down there at 1290, and it rallied all the way up to 1299, which was the, you know, the 78% level of the, the last swing high, and now we're trading below that level now, 1288. And so, uh, you know, that's all it is. It's just an ABCD pattern. If you look at the, the time frame between the A leg on the 29th of, uh, March down to the 31st, and then from uh, April the uh, uh, from the 30th to 31st down to the April 2nd. That's a perfect A B C D in price and time, and you don't see that uh, absolute perfection. In other words, the A B leg equal to the C D leg. You only see that about 40% of the time. The rest of the time, your C D leg is going to be you know, either uh, 1.27, 1.618, or some ungodly number, you know, that just keeps going, going, and going, or it could be a 78% level, it could be a 61% level, we don't know, but that's what you have to do as a trader is determine what that pattern is doing, so if you determine you're on a 15-minute chart, you should trade it on a 15-minute chart. Don't put something on a 15-minute chart and then go to look at the monthly chart to see you know, what the price objective is going to be. Perfect example, of course, would be the coffee. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing there as far as objectives on the upside as we take out some of these highs. I mean, we haven't even taken out last week's high yet. So there's no objective there at all. Now, we've, one thing we have done, and I think it's very important, let's look at this again because I, uh, someone just uh, texted me here. If you notice here on the uh, 25th of February, we had a nice rally of five points. You notice on the 11th of March to the 13th, we had a nice rally. And here between April uh, 2nd and April 4th, we had another five-point rally. All of these rallies have been five points. Once we get above that, then it's telling you, hey, maybe this thing has legs. We have two things, possibly. One is this big, wide range that we had. And then the other thing is the fact that uh, uh, it has exceeded it uh, on the up. That little trend line, I don't know if it means anything or not, but that's what we're looking at. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look here at Tesla. Uh, as you can see here on the very far right, you'll notice in the black uh, pricing over there where it says 262, that's where it's trading today. You'll notice it made the 61% retracement. Now, when you see the double day there uh, with the two green bars, uh, one uh, they doubled the day because it hasn't opened yet. That's, uh, that's the reason it does this. But uh, we have opened at 262. Uh, we're trading this morning, and that means that it's down quite a bit. It's below the 78% level, and that sets up a much lower level. Folks, this is an incredible chart for trading if you want to look at it. You can see all the ABCD patterns that are there. If you notice the double top from July and then the double top in November, the double top in November was a really nice uh, three drive pattern. Also, it's that same T6 pattern that uh, uh, Marshall just pointed out. That's the reverse point wave. Uh, then we broke down. You'll notice that it made the 135 pattern. You can see the cycles every 14 days. Each cycle was lower than the X, right at a uh, uh, at a 78% level. Then the market breaks down, makes another ABCD, and then rallied up to the 61% retracement. And today it gaps down. That means it's heading towards 238. It's going to take out the lows of October, uh, which are setting at 244. Uh, I think without too much trouble, but you know that's just my assessment of looking at the uh, at looking at the charts. That's basically, you know, what we're watching here to you know sort of pay attention to. But we'll see if that's going to happen. We won't know yet. Another one that we looked at a few weeks ago, uh, and we never traded this, but someone asked us to uh, look at it, and that is uh, the Palladium. You'll notice that uh, we had that big 1.618 expansion up there at that 15. I think 1555, I believe, and the high was 1576. Uh, we broke $220, and now we rallied back yesterday to the 382 retracement there at 1400. If Palladium uh, goes down below the uh, 1300 level now, you'll be looking at a price of at least 1150, which will be the area that it broke out of, you know, uh, back in. Uh, 2018. That's similar to that hog chart that we looked at. Remember how strong the hogs are? And then they backed off to that uh, 91 level and they were up almost the limit two days in a row, going back to 95 again. 
So it's uh, really moving. So we'll see uh, if that's going to be the case. The crude oil is uh, very, very close, Mr. Z. Um, I believe that area of, I haven't checked it this morning yet, but I believe the area of that uh, 90, 9370, it's about a buck and a 20 from where we are right now. Uh, should be some uh, really, really strong resistance is, is what I would think, but I'm, I'm still not 100% uh, sure. The one that the one that we are focusing on right now, of course, is the gold because we happen to be short that, and we have some you know price objectives in the in the gold that look pretty interesting. As a matter of fact, I think we should probably look at that again. Hold on one second. And I will get this up here so you folks can take a look at this uh, profit profit objective that we're looking at. We're we're about 30 bucks away. Uh, we're rate trading at 1286 right now. The old lows back here were 1282. If we take that out, and if we take that out, then we'd be looking at that 1255 level. Uh, I think without uh, too much trouble. But that's uh, Quite a ways, 30 bucks. Of course, gold moves pretty rapidly sometimes, so take a look. The fact that gold can't go up when platinum is up as much as it does is not a good sign. And if platinum's topping up here, it's going to put a drag on gold as opposed to being a boost to it. So watch that one very, very closely. That pattern in platinum is complete. Double ABCD, 50% retracement on the weekly. Uh, the ABCD is perfect in price and time, so uh, sort of pay attention to that one. I think it means a, I mean it means a great deal is what I think. But you know that's just my my two cents worth. I only have four more minutes to go, and then we are going to have our good friend Mr. Uh, Norman Winsky on. And tomorrow we're going to have uh, Bill Meridian from Cycles Research, Vienna, Austria. He's got some really great stuff to talk to us about so we'll we want to listen to what he has uh, for both days we've got some really serious people to see uh what's going to like here uh mr z about the about the gold if you the, it, it's a really important area down there at 1282 because if you look at that uh, four hour chart that i posted really closely over the last couple of days um no arch will be uh next week uh, marshall uh, he's tied up uh, not literally tied up, but he's busy, and he'll be uh, he'll be here uh, next week. So watch it really close, Mr. Z, because it's going to be a really low risk down there for sure. You got a butterfly pattern on that four-hour chart, plus you have the ABCD. It could very easily make a double bottom down there at that 1282. So which we're watching, and it, you know the other thing that's a little troubling is that silver just can't uh, can't get out of its own way. And, uh, and that's, act, that's acting a little, a little squirrely too. Uh, someone asked a question about the reports. You know that you hear like Jamie Dimon wrote a letter today to his uh, people, his shareholders, and it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't get frustrated anymore. I'm too old to get frustrated. I've been doing this so long. You know. In fact, you know, yesterday when I explained those five things that happened to me over my trading year, I, I wasn't trying to. You know, to uh, you know, pound on my chest or brag or anything like that. Those were things that I actually experienced. I never, I, I specifically never said anything uh, about the amount of money that I made during those times because it was so different in range that uh, you know you you would you wouldn't actually believe it. But that's that was the case. I tried to do it to show you that the journey that I've had has been, you know, really. Uh, really great i mean and anybody that's traded as long as i have has to go through those journeys if you know it doesn't make any difference who you are you, things like that are going to happen to you and uh you know those were the things that were important to me at the time so you know uh you know that's neither uh, that's neither here nor there anyway keep an eye on that platinum that looks really and by the way there's another one that's interesting folks um trading is a journey not a destination watch those bonds 14108. That's what you want to watch on those bonds. I know we got that big report tomorrow, but we've got a big 61% retracement there in the bonds. We also have an ABCD pattern there in the bonds, and it's also in a, a longer term uptrend in the bonds. So if you're interested in buying bonds, and I'm not, but uh, 
that's where it should stop. I mean, it should be right at that level. I don't know where we are this morning. Let's double check it here, see if we can get it. We've been down as low as uh, 114.11, I believe, was the low. 114.10, that's within uh, two ticks of where I thought we were going to get. So pay attention to it because I think you're ready to rally here in the bonds. And that might mean, and that might mean, that uh, we were looking at, uh, you know, some uh, sell-off in stocks maybe for a quarter of a day or something like that. Mr. Z, that number that I'm looking at in the gold, since you asked, uh, I'll put it in here to take a look at it. It comes in, oh my goodness, it comes in, uh, wow, it's either right here, no, a little bit lower, or down here at, uh, at uh, 84. 1284 is what I'd be looking at, and uh, anything below that, I'd be a little suspect. Hey, we've got Norman coming up next, folks. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we're back, and I believe we have Norm Winsky on the line from Naples, Florida. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir, Larry. Good morning. Good morning. I'm turning over the mic to you, my friend. Go right ahead. All right, I was last on your show on March 22, uh, shortly after the uh, 20th was, uh, that night was a full moon, uh, because that was sort of after the full moon there, I didn't mark those on the chart, but 
as we go, I'll probably point those out at the, the, the point anyway. And here was our shopping list I gave you for the end of March and into uh, the uh, uh, March 29 weekend. So there's your shopping list. We're going to go to over these points here quickly and see how it all came out. So here's the S&P. Uh, there's your full moon right there. Uh, yeah, full moon right there. And you had a nice stop there on the 21st. Uh, the full moon was the night of the 20th. Next day, we topped out and had a nice three-day correction. I think that was about 50, 60 handles, if I recall correctly. We had a little, uh, had a point here for the night of the 26th after the close. AC is an eight after the close. 26, I believe that's right there. We had a little short-term top there. Then we had a pullback into our next point, which was for the stocks, uh, the 20, morning of the 28th. And we missed that slightly. And there's your low there for the 27th. And you'll love this, Larry. Mercury turned direct, you might remember, the morning of the 28th. And that was a retest low there of that low, of the 27th low. And then we that's when we got started kind of the, I guess you might say, the current phase rally, you know, that we we're in now, you know. So anyway, that's, uh, that's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, now, Mercury turned direct in Pisces. That will have some ramifications here in a minute. We'll be talking about that. Now, let's see. Going into the uh, uh, now, the, you know, uh, this is kind of uh, marginal. Uh, one of my big points is when, uh, in addition to the plants going direct or retrograde, is when the plants get to zero latitude. That usually works a high percentage of time. Over the 29th weekend, we had Mercury get to zero latitude. Uh, that kind of gave you a price level here. You kind of had a you had a little resistance there, but then we broke out a couple days later. So it uh, sort of marginal, you know. It's, uh, so I did get I gave it a little breakout green arrow there, but uh, very marginal. All right, uh, moving ahead here now. We have what else do we have? I think we uh, think it covered everything for the stocks. Let's go look at the T bonds. You were just talking about the bonds. What happened back there on the full moon? Well, it's off about a day or so. They made their kind of a double bottom deal here with the 19th and the 20th. And then they took off. I had a nice little pullback low here on the 26th, which uh, we had. Yeah, we had that. That was a U.S. Point, point in the U.S. natal chart. And then they went up. And then we had the, probably the best thing of all was the 28th. I think I had that. Uh, Oh, yeah, we had a uh, aspect with the moon's north node was 180 degrees to Pluto. Pluto has to do with bonds, and that kind of nailed the pretty close to the top here is off by a day. There's your top there on the 28th. The night of the 28th was when that aspect was due, and there we go. So that was pretty good. Uh, let's see, next we're going to look at the... Uh, uh, we're going to look at the dollar, I think. Yep, there's your dollar down here. And, oh, look at this. This is beautiful, Larry. You had your full moon there on the 20th, the night of the 20th. Bingo, bango. There's your low on the dollar index, right? The currencies often dance to the moon, you know? All right, moving ahead here now. We got Mercury in Pisces turned direct on the morning of the 28th. We're going to look at the corn and the oil and the beans. We just looked at the stocks and the, and the wheat. So let's go. We're going to go to the next page now. And look at that. Now, Mercury in Pisces. Why would that have anything to do with oil? Because it's in Pisces. Pisces is the fish with the ruling planet Neptune, the god of the sea, the big liquid. The big liquid in the commodity world is oil. And look at that. It nailed it right on the 28th when Mercury turned direct. And Pisces had that nice pullback low there. You see that? Now let's look at the corn. The corn was kind of coming down, consolidating right on the 28th when Mercury turned direct and then broke the support and bang. Then we had two big Mercury points there because we had also Mercury going to zero latitude over the 29th weekend and look when the low was uh, over the 29th weekend. Right on the 29th and April 1 was your low there and you have a bit of a rally there on the corn. Uh, the beans... I went down and made a uh, low. We kind of straddled the 29th there with the, uh, the 28th, 29th with the, the two mercury points. There's a low, close to the low on the beans. Maybe you want a few points, uh, pennies lower the next day. 
And then by April 1, you're turned around and going up. Here's your wheat was a little, I think, a little sloppier, but still, uh, timing-wise, you're not as, maybe not precise, but coming down. And again, kind of straddled the 29th there, at, which was the low. You had the Mercury Point one day earlier and one day later, and that took cause uh, came with a little bit of a low, sort of anemic rally there in the wheat, but still, you had a chance to make a little bit of money. All right, moving on ahead here now. Here's coffee, Larry. You were just talking about that. And why do we why did we care about coffee? We had this point here on the 28th, uh, night of the 28th, when the moon's north node was 180 degrees to Pluto, which was in Capricorn, and that's the mountain goat. And, you know, Mrs. Olson... Back in the old days, if you're an old dinosaur like you and I, Larry, you might remember on the old American TV there in the 70s and 80s, we had Mrs. Olson tell us that the coffee was mountain grown, and that's how I figured this out. It works really well. The Capricorn is coffee, and so I was looking for a point there, and you had a nice little short-term top there on the coffee right there, bingo, bingo. Okay, the cocoa did not behave nicely, and so I was going to have to take a miss on the cocoa at the red arrow. Uh, but the hogs were a little better, but it only gave us a anemic rally there. So you maybe made a, a tiny bit of money, uh, but it wasn't, uh, you know, as long as you s hug the trend line there and had a stop loss, you would have come out not too bad. You know, you could have made a little bit of money there. Here's your silver. Like you said, <laughs> silver's having trouble getting out of its own way. You had a little bit of bottom there right on the 29th. Uh, with the moon's north node in Cancer, that's silver. You know, the moon rules Cancer, and that's the silvery moon. It has to do with with uh, uh, silver and Cancer and the north, moon's north node. The moon is connected to silver. Uh, you met, what's that uh, lady uh, you had in your early days there uh, that traded the silver, Larry? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I remember this, her. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. I, for, oh. I forget her name now. Maybe uh, you know. Mary, Mary Rivers. Yeah, Mary Rivers. Mary there you Rivers, go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, anyway, it bounced a little bit and kind of go one sideways, so that's the deal on the silver, you know, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here's the exciting stuff, Larry. Back when I was on your show on March 22, I put up my day trading times for the day. These are all based on the moon and the planets. I gave you the exact times, gave you the rules for my day trading system based on a one-minute bar chart. If it goes down into the magic time, you buy. If it goes up in the magic time, you sell. I asked the people to take a screenshot of these times. If they couldn't get that, they could contact me and get the page so anybody interested could get these times. And I got very lucky, Larry. I had one of my best days I'd had in about two and a half months doing this system. Okay, so let's go take a look. Here's your times here. Let's, uh, we have to pay some bills. We'll do that when we come back here. Right? Yep. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying Diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics, including gold, silver, platinum, 
copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. All right, folks, we're back with Norm Winsky. You want to continue on, Norm? Yes, sir. So I was showing these intraday times back on March 22. I gave you the trading rules, the one-minute bar chart. It goes down in the time you buy, it goes up in the time you sell. Use a two-handle stop loss. Uh, we have three categories of planetary activity. Uh, the G is, stands for geocentric. The H stands for heli uh, which is from the point of view of the Earth. H is for heliocentric, from the point of view of the Sun. And then we have the U.S. natal chart. If you don't know what a natal chart is, that's when we take a snapshot of where the plants are at a particular moment, like you were born or a country starts, that kind of thing. And this is based on the beginning of the U.S. on July the 4th, 1776. So how does that crazy stuff work? Let's take a look at it. Had you traded those points on March 22, how you would have done? We had 10 trades. Seven of them were winners. Uh, we had three uh, losers, but one was a scratch. Of the three, those were scratched, so I counted the break-even one because of commissions as a loser. Uh, we had 7% so had winners. Uh, total winning handles was plus... 48 and a quarter handles. That's, uh, you don't know what a handle is, that's $50. This is trading S&P E-mini, so that's $50 a handle. We had uh, two losers for four uh, four handles. And so you netted, oh, your win-loss is 12.06 to 1. And net handle profit, a plus 44 and a quarter handles, or about $2,212.50. Trading one S&P E-mini contract, that's exceptional. They usually don't do that well, uh, but that's about the best day it had in about two and a half months. Here's a sample trade from this list I had showed you back here. Uh, I, I just picked this one kind of at random as to show you because it's kind of sitting there all by itself, and it was easy to take a, a snapshot of that, uh, the, the uh, heliocentric. Uh, it says Venus is going into Capricorn at 12.39 p.m., Eastern time. Let's see if that did anything. Well, here's the chart here, your one-minute bar chart for the March 22. It tells you that right in this box here. And we're right at 12.32, and that's that bar right there. The market's going up, so you go short, and then you go about two, three bars more, and it gets to, this is at 15 and three quarters where you're short. It did get to 17 on the highest bar there, and it did not hit our two-handle stop loss. So then it rolls over and we drop about 10 handles. And so you got it in a little bit less favorable than the top. And you probably, I just draw a simple trend line across these tops going down. As soon as you break the trend line, you're getting out over here. So you make about maybe about eight handles. And so that was pretty good for just simple stuff, you know. So that's it. It's all because Venus went into Capricorn from the point of view of the sun, you know. So I had the, you know, so anyway, it all added up to a great day, and I'm looking forward. I got some exciting news for the folks if they're interested in day trading. I've got a really simple, easy way to learn that. So anyway, we'll get to that uh, toward the end here. 
Uh, here's what's coming up in the bigger picture. Uh, let's see, the 4th, that's tonight. Uh, today's the 4th. And after the close, that's tonight. We had a, a kind of a repeat of what we had before where they had the Moon's North Node opposite Pluto back on like the 29th, the 28th, 29th. We're going to get it in a kind of a different dimension by what's called parallel declinations. So this is kind of like a cousin of that. And uh, so we're going to get the same uh, suspects. We're going to have it. Look, you want to watch the coffee? There you go. You said, I think, if you look at the chart there, coffee is at a critical level here. I think you would agree, Larry. And let's find the coffee chart here. There we go. It's uh, coming up here. There's your coffee chart. We're right up against the, right at the top of that channel there. So it's kind of do or die here. Would you agree with that, uh, Larry? Absolutely. Yes, sure yeah. would. If it continues higher, you've broken out to the upside. And if it rolls over, then it's probably going to go back to the bottom of the channel. You know what I mean? Uh, the f a fork in the road, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Let's see the coffee. We're going to be looking at coffee, silver, and stocks. All at major junctures here tonight. Obviously, we have the new moon tonight, and so the the that uh, round up the usual suspects, Larry. You got your financials, which includes you know your stocks, your bonds, your currencies. All tend to dance to the moon, the greens, and your precious metals. Over the past several months, you remember mentioning gold. I noticed the pattern that gold tends to turn about one day past the new moon or full moon. I don't know why it tends to have a, like a one-day delay. So I would be watching that gold. If it doesn't turn, if it doesn't, uh, whatever you're looking for, it, it needs to do it probably by Monday. And then I'd think about getting out. You know, if you are you get what you want, uh, pull the ripcord by Monday, I would say, you know. If it goes down, then you're probably going to, Make a low by Monday, I would guess, you know. All okay. righty, here's your moon's north. Now, we have a little moderate thing with the moon and north node and Neptune. So that's your, uh, oh, it's a, is that a moon's uh, watch for? Oh, this is a U.S. thing, right? Moon's north node, the U.S. Neptune. Watch your stocks, T-bonds, dollar and oil, maybe. Uh, over uh, Coming up on Monday night. We have Mercury gets the aphelion. That's where Mercury is at its farthest point as it goes around the sun, 88-day cycle. And then you want to watch your soy, your grains like corn and especially soybeans, stocks, and wheat. And then the big one, the big one in the first half of the month is coming up on Tuesday afternoon when Jupiter turns retrograde. That's a biggie. And so that's watch for a major trend in the Nobody trades oats, but I have to I report that anyway, just in case somebody's crazy enough to do that. And there's your stock market, okay? So watch for something big about Tuesday afternoon, plus or minus a day, uh, because Jupiter's turning in retrograde, and it's doing it in its own sign of Sagittarius. So that's like double power, you know? All right, moving on ahead here now. Oh, I get to tell the folks how all the free stuff they can get. So I got a special thing going now where I'm offering a free class 20-minute class. It's all free. Going to teach you my day trading system. It's super simple. I got one paragraph of rules, nine lines in a paragraph. Gives you all the rules, and you can get get a free trial to the, the times I showed you there for two weeks, and you can try it out on your demo account and not risk any money and see if it works or not. I'll be happy to help the folks with that. And uh, there we go. So let's see. Here's my email address. Uh, I think this is my Skype address. Uh, I just learned that the Skype address I thought, you remember the Skype nightmare, Larry, <laughs> last year? Uh, I had yep. a guy come, had, had to untangle my Skype. It was, your, I think yours got messed up too. And I guess I changed my Skype address. I didn't even know it until somebody pointed it out to me. The address I was giving out wasn't the right one. <laughs> so I think I just learned this might be my address if you can't get a hold of me on Skype. Send me an email or call me or whatever, and I'll call you. All right. Well, anyway, so any questions? I guess we got time for questions or whatever. Uh, I have the question about that Jupiter. Isn't that Jupiter the one that's related to the stock market quite a bit? Uh, David Williams did some work on that. Well, I, I'm big on any time any planet, especially an outer planet, goes direct or retrograde. You know, So mm -hmm. that's a big deal. And that's going to happen during market hours, too. So that makes sense. Extra interesting because you know maybe it'll maybe it'll turn you'll get to see a turn there near near the time it's it happens just after I got it just after noon on 
on Tuesday. You know, I think well, we're gonna we'll mark that down for sure. There you go. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Hey, thanks yeah. for joining us, Mark Norman. We'll have you on again soon. But that's noon on Tuesday. Is yes, Jupiter's sir. going retrograde, huh? Yeah, and have the folks okay. call me right away if they want to okay. get the free twenty-minute yeah. class on Skype. You know. Right? Yeah, and if it works, uh, well, if it works, we'll have you on again. If it doesn't work, uh, good luck to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Norm. God, God bless you. Talk to you later. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors.